Hi YouTube, we're in Gijón in Spain at the Piano Festival. It's the most incredible piano festival, uh, which has just come to an end uh, now. Really amazing, so many amazing teachers. Uh, and today I'd like to talk about octaves. So how do we play octaves and how to how, how is especially, I think the question often is how, how to really have that accuracy. And I'm going to give two examples for this. The first one is going to be the Chopin octave etude. So that's this. So there's just so much to to talk about when it comes to technique and how to play these things correctly. So let's start with, this will be a little bit more tailored for big hands, okay? But if you have, even small hands should be able to do it. In this case, a lot of the times what we do is we put the fourth finger when we have black keys. So that would be the thumb and the fourth finger in both the right and left hand. So in, in this attitude, it would be four, five, 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 five, four, five, 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 four, something like that. So that's that's what we're doing here. Now the next thing that you can do in this piece is try to move as little as possible. So you see when you have the four here, five is already on F, four is on F sharp, five is already on F. So they're very close. And then when you come back, G is just right there. So it's not going like this. little as is necessary. We don't want to move, make any unnecessary movements. That's that's what slows you down. So in this, for this particular case, what we have is, let me get this right, there's a grouping of, of just three notes at a time that we can use. Yeah, that's it. So if we go, and we have just three notes, and then if you go, notes, but there's just three different keys. So if you practice like this, you're just working with three different keys at the time. So you have a position for these three, and then a position for these three. This is not 
not a technique. This is just a way of testing to see if you're blocked. See, this is this is should, is relaxed and should be able to lift. So this is very always relaxing. So that's uh, 101, little 101 on octaves. And we're gonna have 102 soon. When you come to my master class, we're gonna talk about how to nail those octaves.